Anthony, I know you've talked about before the injury you had in high school and coming back from that. Um, was there ever a point where you wondered what kind of future you had because of that injury, or did you always see past it and see what you're doing now? Um, I, I thought about that every day. Um, when I got hurt, I didn't know what the kind of future I was going to have. So, um, you know, and I, I just always told in my head, told myself in my head that I was going to, you know, work hard and push hard to be, you know, better than I ever was. And um, just to look at where I'm at now, on and off the field. Um, that, that made me who I am because uh, that made me a time where I had to find, like I said, who I was, who I wasn't, who I was without the ball um, in my hand. And you know, I feel like that's what I did, and I better myself you know, as a man. So, how, how did it change you the most? What you said? Um, you know, I never, because that's the first time you know football has ever been taken away from me. So, uh, you know, I had to do you know a lot of things that you know I never really did before. It was like, kind of like I was living in a box because you know I was been just been playing football all my life, and I got to see you know what happens. You know, when the game is taken away from you, and you know, the game can be taken away from you any day. So uh, that's why I got out of it. And now I appreciate the game even more. So, you know, I know every time I walk out here, it can be my last. So. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. In coming to the Jack Litch uh, Law Group office, I felt very at ease. Um, I was treated very kindly, and I felt that this is the person that I wanted to work with. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have with great results and great service. Call the big dogs, the Jack Litch Law Group. What's it mean to you to have 10, 15, 20 people chasing you around asking football questions? Um, it, I mean, I'm, I'm used to it. Uh, my mom kind of prepared me for this when I was young, so. Uh, How do you, know, you get prepared for this? I don't know, it's just, I remember my mom used to just sit uh, in the house and, you know, when she found out I was going to the math and she used to just uh, do interview practice with me and said I was going to have to do this one day. And um, I never really believed her, but it started happening in high school and, and it's still here now, so. What was, it, what was the toughest question she ever asked you? <laughs> um, no tough questions. Like everything you guys asked me, so that's how I'm used to it. So we don't ask you tough questions at all. Oh, okay. all right, we got <laughs> you can tweet Don or text him some tough questions to ask you next time. We'd appreciate it. <laughs>